Bird Sailors. They are ice hockey. Uh, And Colorado 4A state playoff action on your Speedboat Sailor Sports Team. We are Peyton Young. Sports on FM 105.7 and 97.7 on the FM tile. Worldwide Web. Speedboat Radio. Hey, this is Matt with Steamboat Roofing Company, and we love to sponsor all things Steamboat. As a company, we like to get families and student athletes outside to enjoy all that Steamboat has to offer. Steamboat Roofing Company is proud to sponsor Steamboat Sailor Sports Broadcast. Steamboat Roofing Company, proud of working and giving back. Please visit us at Steamboat Roofing Company. This is Matt with Steamboat Roofing Company, proud Sailor Sports Broadcast. Hello? Man, where are you? I thought you were coming. I can't. I'm in bed with the flu. <laughs> the flu? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Grandma's about the crowd, sir. Man, I'll call you back. Hey, this is Matt with Steamboat Roofing Company, and we love to sponsor all things Steamboat. As a company, we like to get families and student athletes outside to enjoy all that Steamboat has to offer. Steamboat Roofing Company is proud to sponsor Steamboat Sailor Sports Broadcast. Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services is proud to bring you this broadcast to Sailor Sports. They know each athlete has worked hard and dedicated themselves to their sport. That's how Mountain West was built, through hard work and dedication. Your local agents are ready to find an auto, home, business, health, or farm and ranch policy to fit your life. Visit one of their offices in Seamount, Craig, or Meeker, and good luck to Sailor. Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services, solutions for life. Getting a flu shot helps us stay healthy, so we don't miss out on what matters. Yeah, can't do that. Every year, millions of people in the U.S. get the flu, especially now. No one has time to miss out on moments that matter. So get your flu shot. Find out more at getmyflushot.org. Brought to you by AMA CDC and the Ad Council.
Check, 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 check.
Jason here for Doc's Auto Clinic with an announcement for all our customers. As of March 1st, Doc's Auto Clinic becomes one-off auto center. Same local ownership, same location, and the same honest, dependable service you've trusted for over 20 years. The only thing that's changing... Check, check, check. Auto Clinic becomes one-off auto center starting March 1st. One-off auto center. We go the extra mile. Easy to find at 2565 Copper Ridge Drive. One-off auto center. We go the extra mile. I'm number 36 and I play defense. I've been playing hockey for probably... Order of Steamboat State. Now open to visit a two building in downtown Steamboat. here for Doc's Auto Clinic with an announcement for all our customers. As of March 1st, Doc's Auto Clinic becomes one-off auto center. Same local ownership, same location, and the same honest, dependable service you've trusted for over 20 years. The only thing that's changing is the name. Again, Doc's Auto Clinic becomes one-off auto center starting March 1st. One-off auto center. We go the extra mile. Easy to find at 2565 Copper Ridge Drive. One-off auto center. We go the extra mile.
Jason here for Doc's Auto Clinic with an announcement for all our customers. As of March 1st, Doc's Auto Clinic becomes one-off auto center. Same local ownership, same location, and the same honest, dependable service you've trusted for over 20 years. The only thing that's changing is the name. Again, Doc's Auto Clinic becomes one-off auto center starting March 1st. One-off auto center. We go the extra mile. Easy to find at 2565 Copper Ridge Drive. One-off auto center. We go the extra mile. women under 40 are getting breast cancer, especially black and Jewish women whose cancers are often more deadly. If you're a woman, talk to your doctor by age 25 about your breast cancer risk. The American College of Radiology recommends you ask your doctor if you should get a mammogram before age 40. Need other tests like an MRI with your yearly mammogram or should be checked more than once a year. For more information, visit mammographysavelives.org.
under 40 are getting breast cancer, especially black and Jewish women whose cancers are often more deadly. If you're a woman, talk to your doctor by age 25 about your breast cancer risk. The American College of Radiology recommends you ask your doctor if you should get a mammogram before age 40. Need other tests like an MRI with your yearly mammogram or should be checked more than once a year. For more information, visit mammographysavelives.org. Brian Harvey, Kathy Elliott, yeah. broadcasting live from Howells and Ice Arena. No Boomer Sooner yet. No, we got Steamboat Sailors hockey. Uh, and I, I, I imported the best hockey mom out there to uh, jump in with me. Kelly Bomer running late and getting into the Howells and Ice Arena right now is uh, a little bit of a challenge. But we have got a classic matchup here, Kathy. These two teams have been... these kids have been playing against each other since they were four five six years old and mites it's the steamboat sailors versus the summit county tigers there's sort of a mutual disrespect for these two teams oh, we're already seeing them get chippy in the warm-up the first five minutes we got a little attitude going back between the teams so it's going to be a very physical emotional game for both of these teams tonight yeah i'm going to try not to get emotional myself it's the quarterfinals the steamboat sailors if they win this game as the number two seed in the state they will go to their third frozen four i don't want to put the cart before the horse here they got to take care of business and this is going to be tough it is going to be extremely tough and two two teams from the mountain division have already or from two teams have already checked their way in and, and we've got to the final frozen four if you will we were hoping to see an all mountain frozen four but we're not going to see that uh this year but we've got uh, glenwood springs playing tonight against bale and we had uh gunnison win or um i'm sorry we had uh durango Yep, Durango, Durango win last yep. night, and Liberty is going to be the sole front range team in the finals. Uh, Which isn't this year. surprising. No. Uh, you watch these kids play, uh, it is not surprising at all. Starting lineups are being called. We've got the national anthem here. We're just going to turn things up and uh, tune into the national anthem. Kent Foster, Bill Sanders, Demetri Chase, and Brian Roman. All right. This is now time for the National Anthem of the United States. Please stand and remove your hats. Singing the United States of the National Anthem will be Olivia Warren. Steamboat Sailors getting ready to take on the Summit County Tigers and oh there we go look at 
getting some love inside yeah. the ring cap. All right. If the technology gods smile on us, which it looks like they are, we are broadcasting on the Steamboat Radio YouTube channel. We welcome everybody from near and far. I know we're on big screens across the nation right now. Do we? I hear we have some fans from Oklahoma we've listening and watching. We've got Oklahoma watching. people watching. We've got Michigan. We've got the front range. It is, uh, the rink is getting pretty darn full, folks. There's still standing room only. Some seats on the summit side. So come on over and take over the rink. Sailors are in white. They're going to be moving right to left on your radio dial. Sawyer Vietnam. Soy Dog pondering, taking the face off here for your Steamboat Sailors. He's got Landon Ripley to his right. Patty Bomer to his left. Angus Fritzen on defense with Max Zanamanacek, the lone senior defender. And Kate Z gave you the thumbs up on the last name pronunciation, so I got that going for me. Sailors control the face off. Ripley with a shot right off the gun. In on the forecheck, Steamboat putting pressure at the blue line. Can't get the puck out. Bomer battling for it. Puck trickles into the neutral zone, and here come the Tigers. Over the blue line, shot gets deflected into the corner. Summit circles, looks to the top of the cage, turns, shoots. Over the net, it goes into the corner, battling for it. Sailors come away with it. Now it goes back behind the Sailors' cage. Zanamana check on the far side. Bangs it off the sideboards and into the neutral zone. Sailors get a change. Heck, Stevens, oh, that's Fritzen handling the puck on the far side. He goes D to D with it. Finn Beyer now up to Elliott. Connor Elliott with a shot. That one goes wide. Kept in on the far side. Big hit, on, and we'll expect to see some big hits out here, Kath. Yeah, that's already physical right there. He laid him on the line on the wall right there. But they're ready. These Sooners are, are these, <laughs> these <laughs> sailors are fired up. They certainly are. And the house and Ice Arena is packed. So 0-0, zero, zero, the score 545. Someone's got to stop that clock. They're not stopping the they're clock. They're not stopping the clock. Oh. Parents having way too much fun in the scorekeeper's box. About 10 seconds rolled off. They got it stopped. Sis on defense, paired up with Stevenson. Puck controlled here by the Tigers. They fired into the neutral zone, chasing after it. That one goes behind the Sailors' net. No icing called. Summit comes away with it, looking to center it there. Shoreland can't quite get the puck. Puck goes back behind the Sailors' cage. Both teams right now kind of feeling each other out. That's a high stick. No call. Yep, they called it. So the faceoff is going to come all the way back down, or it should. We've got to get it out of our defensive zone faster and, and pushing it up the ice to be successful against this team. They're going to press us the entire game. I'm confused as to why the faceoff yeah, is actually down at our end. I thought that was a high stick on Summit, but no call. Uh, for some reason, the puck went to the glove side of Cade Cavanaugh, the starting goaltender here for your Steamboat Sailors. Puck back behind the cage. McIntosh giving chase. Controlled here by the Tigers. Puck pushed back behind the net there by Weir. Centering pass. That goes over the blue line. And the Tigers will be forced to regroup as Waldorf rips the puck back in around the dasher and all the way back out. Good pressure here by your Steamboat Sailors. Bessie throwing his body around. Crutchmar, good to see Kodiak out there. I know he's been a bit dinged up, and I know he's not at 100%, but he's such a big leader. That's Whitlinger with a puck far side. The freshman tries to rip the shot off. That one gets blocked, goes into the corner. Whitlinger still battling for the puck. He can't come up with it. Now it's kept in far side by Ripley. Puck back behind the net. Ripley now pressuring. Stevenson backhands it deep. More pressure here by Witt. Whitlinger can't come up with it. Now it's controlled here by the Summit D. Off the sideboards and into the neutral zone. Steamboat goes D to D with it. Zanamanacek with the puck. 
Max is going to take it back behind the net. He's going to slow things down. Sailors regroup, set up the breakout. Coming from their own end. Tyler over. Norton. Norton fires over the red line in deep. Ripley in on that forecheck. Stevenson puts the puck in deep. Sailors can't come away with it. Up the sideboards and up to Sawyer Vietnin. Vietnin takes it behind his own cage. Off the back of the net. Sends it to Stevenson. Stevenson flips it up to Sawyer. Sawyer can't control. And the, fire, and the puck gets dribbled back into the steamboat end where it's picked up by Zanamanacek. Up to Bomer. Bomer can't handle it. Good pressure here by the Tigers. Sailors winding it up. Stevenson with oh, a long pass. head man pass. Ahead to Bayer. Bayer battling for it. And a good job here by the Tigers controlling the puck from their own end. 0-0 the score. Just underway. 12.39 left in this first period. What do you think, Kath? I think they're looking strong. The Sailors are pressing. It's physical. Every play, there's a hit. And that's exactly what the doctor ordered. Each team trying to get the other team, you know, sort of out of their own headspace. Not thinking about the game at hand, but maybe that hit into the boards. Puck into the neutral zone, and it looks like they're calling an off sides. So the faceoff is going to come. The faceoff is going to come just outside of the steamboat end in front of the Summit County net. Nightcamp on the faceoff. Gets it over to Elliott. Elliott works it back to his D-man. Puck fired in by Fritchen. Fritzen puts it in deep. D to D. And here come the Tigers as they try to work it out of their own end. Kept in nicely at the blue line there. Backhanded in. Good pressure there by Bayer. Now Nightcamp with a puck. Now Sis with it. Sis is one of my favorite players, Kath. He's having a great winter season as the Sailors. He's just progressed so well, and he's got some physicality that he's playing. He's not the biggest kid out there, but he plays big. He plays big. He's a Moffat County High School sophomore. Played youth hockey here with Steamboat, and I'll tell you what, that kid brings his lunch pail, his hard hat, and he plays. He's coming to work every day. Yep, some blue-collar hockey. All right, Crutchmar, face off here to the stick side of the Summit County net. Back to McIntosh on the point. He works it in deep to Shoreland. Shoreland, oh. centering pass. He had Sander Harvey back doors. Harvey couldn't put the biscuit in the basket. Z battling for the puck. The freshman pressuring. Good pressure. Good energy there by Xander Harvey. And a good forecheck here by the Sailors keeping the puck in. Back to Stevenson. Heck loses it. Controls oh! it through traffic. That one goes wide. Picked up by Shoreland. Shoreland with the puck. Puts it in deep behind the net. Picked up by Xander Harvey. Harvey with the puck. Off the sideboards. Back to the point. He Stevenson puts a puck in. That one goes wide. It's going to be handled here by the wingman for the Summit County Tigers. Tigers, little pirouette move here on the blue line, working it into the neutral zone. Can't get it out. Good pressure there by your Steamboat Sailors. Sailors are going to change up here, allowing the Tigers to work the puck into the neutral zone. Sailors, though, slow the play down. Bessie with it. Bessie walking in. Centering pass. Lance looking, can't find. Sailors now controlling in the corner. And here come the Tigers. That's Weir with the puck as he works it out. Jackson Weir, that play dispossessed at the blue line. And the Tigers forced to regroup. Good pressure here by the Sailors. Handled by Cade Cavanaugh. He leaves it for Fritzen. Fritzen behind the net. Picked up there. Steamboat can't control. That Caden Salentich, the freshman, getting some ice time early. Salentich, a, a late add-on here for your Steamboat Sailors. And coach is going to get him out early, you know, in case he needs him. It's a good call. Shot on net. Through. Kavanaugh makes the save. Salentich backhands it through the Gretzky's office. Now McIntosh battling for it. Now Steamboat controls, puts it into the neutral zone. Good job by the Sailors O. Puck in deep, picked up by Caden Salentich. Salentich looking for his right wing, couldn't get it to him. And now Steamboat working the breakout. Far side, into the neutral zone. 
Norton fires it in. Ty. Sailors are going to change. Ripley pressuring. Again, neither team has had oh, a great ton of steal by Patty Bomer. Bomer again. So smart, always in the right place. Great hockey IQ. Puck flipped into the stands. And we're going to get a face-off here. As that one goes off of Patty Bomer. 9.05 left in the first 0-0. The score, what are you seeing, Kath? I am seeing a great game. Get down here to the Howie Dome if you're not here. 9.05 left in this first period. 0-0 zero, zero the score. Face off here in the steamboat end to the glove side of Cade Kavanaugh, the senior goaltender. Face off controlled here by the Tigers. Puck back to the point. That shot by Waldorf goes wide. Deflects wide. Sailors trying to work it out of their own end. Finally picked up by Sis. Sis bangs it off the sideboards but not out. Ripley gets a pad on it. Good job here by the Tigers keeping the puck in. Puck behind the Sailors' cage. Steamboat trying to work it out of their own end. Good pressure here by the Tigers. Summit. Now Sis flips the puck into the neutral zone. Good play there by Sawyer. Vietnam working in. Left side. Brings it deep. Odd angle shot. And a big stop by Finn Schroeder. And we're going to get a face off here to the stick side of the Summit County net. These guys are looking good. Uh, Summit County's got two fantastic goalies that can interchange during this game. Cape Cavanaugh is, uh, he's zoned in. We saw him earlier in the game, up in the stands before the game, really focused and, and, and thinking about this game. So there's a lot on the line for these Steamboat Sailors seniors. They want to continue on. Absolutely. So the puck controlled off the faceoff here. Oh, Another shot, and that one is stopped and tied up by Schroeder. So we'll get another face-off here in the Summit County end. And Nykamp is bleeding right now. So he is hurrying to the bench to get some help from the trainer. I don't know if he got a skate. Looks like he got slashed in the arm and the forearm. Always scary. So with the stoppage of play, 8-17 left in this first period. 0-0 the score. You are tuned to KTYV Sports on FM. Seaboat Sailors Hockey brought to you in part by our friends at Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank with locations in Steamboat and Craig. They are lending an Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice, and the homeowner's friend. Go see Cody and the gang at Alpine Lumber. And there was a little lumber thrown there. Hopefully... Mr. Nightcamp is all right. He'll be we back. Need him. They'll take him up, and uh, he'll be back. Puck controlled off the faceoff by your Sailors in deep. Zanamanacek trying to hold the blue line here. Can't. Puck into the neutral zone. Good job by Heck Stevenson to get a stick in there and just slow the play down. Sailors trying to work it back. Stevenson with the puck. He goes D to Z. D. Zamanek. Zanamanacek near side. Trying to throw the puck in. Staying with it. Good job by Max. Now the puck flipped into the neutral zone. Handled by Whitlinger. He's going to put it back in. Good play by Bayer here. Again, good forecheck here. Got to keep the pressure on. Puck pressure is the name of the game. Don't let this Summit County team think when they get the puck. Zanamanacek taking it coast to coast. Nice pass to Shoreland. Near side, Shoreland shoots it over the net. Kept in on the far side by Fritzen. Puck pushed behind the net. Sailors can't control. And Summit County now trying to work it out of their own end. 0-0 the score, 7-17 left in this first period. Sis with the puck. Sis ragging it. Puts it off the sideboards. Up to Bayer. Bayer gets pushed off the play. And now winding that puck up is Matson for the Summit County Tigers. Puck in deep, and the Sailors are going to go to the sin bin. Looks like an interference is going to be the call. 6.55 left in this first period. It looks like it's going to be on number 37, Kodiak Kretzmeyer. It's so good to see his heart and his fight out there tonight. Yeah, Kodiak, not 100%. He's had knee issues all season for the last couple of years. And it's too bad because he's such a great player. But Kretzmeyer to the sin bin. So the Sailors... 
that's sort of one of the keys to the game here. Stay out of that penalty box. Yeah, and that's something that the Sailors didn't do a good job the last home game against Summit County, and we have to do a better job. Uh, that's the only way we're going to be able to stay on top of this team and get, get goals. We can't be a man down every time. So 6.55 left in this first period. For some reason, we've got... Ah, okay. Do we have a matching penalty here? We're going to like that one. Four on four, five on five. We'll take that. We may skate four on four it here. It looks like they're going to keep it four on four, which is... Because uh, they're not matching penalties. I don't know if it was okay. a bench minor, because it came late in the play. We'll take it. Kretschmeyer got a two-minute penalty for interference. They still haven't announced what happened with the Summit player. So Sawyer Vietnin off the faceoff. Pushes it back, controlled here by Summit. Tigers working the puck back to the blue line. Sailors on the kill here. So it is a five-on-four right now. So I don't know exactly what the call, call was, but that's an errant pass that goes back deep and forced to regroup the Summit County Tigers. Good pressure there by Ripley. Ripley and Sawyer Vietnam, very, very aggressive on the forecheck. A lot of times, you know, coach will want him to lay off, but they're not going to let him break the puck out. But finally, here come the Tigers into the Sailors end. It's picked up by Ripley. Ripley behind the net, loses control of the puck, gets it back. Now he's going to just tie it up, kill some clock as we're down to 105 left in the penalty and 556 left in this first period. 0-0 the score. Puck controlled on the blue line by the Tigers, working it down deep. There's a shot through traffic. That one goes all the way up and not out as it's kept in. They on the far clear side. This to get this puck out of that zone. They need to ice this puck. Heck Stevenson with the puck, and he does just that. He heard, he heard he Mom heard, up there. He <laughs> so, Sailor's going to get some fresh legs out there. 30 seconds left on the power play. 523 left in this first period. Here come the Tigers over the red line, over the blue line. Ragging the puck in. Nice play by Sis and Fritzen to slow that play down. Stevenson getting physical there. Sis way out. There's a shot. That one goes wide of Cade Cavanaugh. Wraps around Ernie Thiel breakout, as we call that, all the way back down to the Summit County end. And we're going to be skating at full strength here as Kutchmar comes back on the ice. 4.50 left in this first period. 0-0 the score. It's a tight one here. Quarterfinals of the State 4A playoffs. Puck fired in off the backboards by the Tigers. In deep. Sailors battling for it. Kodiak Kretschmar. And he come away with it. He's got it. Over the blue line. Can't skate the puck out. Back checks nicely though. Kretschmar gains control. Stays with it. Kretschmar walking in. Going to take a shot. That one goes high over the net as it's deflected wide. Picked up by Bayer. Bayer back behind the Sailors net. That was a great play. He had Finn crossing through the front of the net if he would have been able to get that pass off, but it got deflected. It's good. Uh, Summit County doing a good job keeping their sticks on the ice and just deflecting those passes. Kept in there by Stevenson. Stevenson centering pass there, looking for Bayer. Puck fired all the way down. That should be an icing, and it is. So at 3.48 left in this first, 0-0 the score. You're tuned to KTYV. Wow. This is a great game. <laughs> now we, uh, what we were hoping for is standing room only, and there's still some room to stand. But uh, you guys come down and support this incredible game with over two and a half periods left to play. Sawyer Vietnin off the faceoff, pushes that puck forward, back behind the summit cage. Here come the Tigers. The, out the near side, up this right wing boards, right in front of us. A lot of physical play. Bodies thrown around. Bomer battling for it. Can't come up with it. Now he does. Puck into the 
Summit County end momentarily. Backhand pass. We go, Sailors get it. Ripley now turns the other way. Ripley dangling. Can't make it across the blue line. And here come the Tigers back the other way. Good job by Heck Stevenson to slow the play down. Sawyer now. No. Up to Bomer. Bomer. Working the puck in. Patty through traffic. Vietnam now back behind the net. Good pressure there by Sawyer. Great forecheck by the Sailors, keeping the puck in deep. Sawyer looking back to the point. Back to Stevenson. Stevenson through traffic. Can't find it. Sorry, that was the nominee check with a shot. Puck flipped up, bounces into the neutral zone. Sailors get a full change. Long cross ice pass. Here comes Summit into the zone. Leaves it down deep there. That's Schumann. Schumann with the puck. Goes in wide. And now here comes Steamboat back the other way. Kodiak Crutchmar. Oh, we've got a slash on the play. And I think the Sailors nice. are going to have their first, first power, power play. play. We got to make it count on this. It's uh, it's a defensive game. We've had opportunities on the Steamboat side. We're keeping it in the offensive zone. We're just not finding the back of the net. They need to just calm down. Yeah. Yeah. And that is so easy for me to say. Because <laughs> I'm not calm and I'm just calling the game. Karsten Kerr going to the sin bid. Two minutes slashing the call. So the Sailors have their first power play. Let's see if they can convert. Puck up off the boards into the neutral zone. It goes. Zanamanacek gets the puck here near side. Max Z works it up to his D partner. That's Bayer. Bayer walking in. Bayer tries to get the shot off. Follows. And the puck back into the neutral zone. And it's going to be picked up there by Zanamanacek. Working the puck up. Sailors. Up to Bomer. Bomer backhands the puck in deep and chases. Sailors. Shoreland now. Shoreland with the puck. Austin leaving the puck there for Zanamanacek. In deep to Sawyer. Sawyer centering pass. He had Shoreland. Shoreland got a stick on it. Back to Sawyer. Vietnam with the puck. Works it up near side. Sailors controlling. Working the perimeter. Looking for the quality, not the quantity here. There's a centering pass. Back to Bayer. Bayer with the puck. Working it in. Bayer looking cross ice. Over to Bomer. Patty with the puck. Works it behind the net. Picked up there. Centering pass by Sawyer. Out to Bayer. Bayer. Leaves it for Shoreland. Shoreland with the puck. Sailors again controlling it nicely. This drives mom and dad crazy, but a good job here on looking for that quality shot. Now he's got Max Z. Oh! Puts it through. Had Ripley. Ripley, or that's Xander that's Harvey, Xander excuse Harvey. me. Leaves it for Bayer. Now Zanamanacek working it in deep behind the net. Looking, looking. Passes that puck out. Now we got an odd man rush. Here come the. Tigers back the other way in deep shot oh, off the post. Save. Big stop great by Kavanaugh. And so there was an opportunity for the Tigers as the Sailors had big eyes trying to get something going. Now Steamboat. And we got a we big another hit. penalty. And it looks like it's going to be a Sailor penalty here with 29.8 seconds left in this first period. Byer is going to go to the sin bin. What did they call? Was that a check from behind? I, it it uh, was along the boards, and that's what I think it was. And this is something that we were hoping we weren't going to get in this position. We're, yep. we're down two penalties to one. We don't even know what that last one was, if there was a Summit player in the box. So we could be down two to nothing, or two to one in the, uh, in the power play. Here, the, the Sailors didn't capitalize on this. This one, we got to do a better job when given those opportunities from Summit. So 29.8 seconds left in this first period. Face off here to the glove side of Kate Kavanaugh, the Sailors goaltender. Crutchmar off the face off, works it back. Stebo nice. controls it. They're going to fire the puck all the way down. We're down to 20 seconds. That puck handled by Schroeder. Schroeder sends the puck up to his oh. wing. Good pressure there by Ripley. Puck at the blue line, off the ref. Another pl great play by Ripley to get a stick on it. So Crutchmar and Ripley are two forwards. Sis and Stevenson are defenders. Sailors on the kill now for a minute 30, and that's going to do it. So after one period of play, we are tied at zero. 
But coming into this second period, the Summit County Tigers will have a power play for a minute 30. Kathy, what are your thoughts after that first period? I thought the Sailors did a great job of keeping it in our offensive zone. We need a little bit better shot play on that. But Kate Cavanaugh, what was thrown at him, he stopped that. And the uh, Summit Tigers didn't have as many opportunities as Sailors. But uh, we need to capitalize on those opportunities when we have them. We need to come out firing. No doubt. Big shout out to Mountain Mattress and Furniture, helping you and the Sailors get a good night's sleep. Dots and Payment Solutions, bringing local point of sale payment solutions, loyalty programs, gift cards, and so much more to your business. Learn more at DotsonPOS.com. Also like to thank Steamboat Ace Hardware, the helpful place for hardware, plumbing tools, grills, garden, and more. Also like to thank Steamboat Motors, the Paoli Group, with the Group Realty, Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services, iFurnish, Mountain Eyeworks, Steamboat Roofing, Switchback Sports, and Docs Auto Clinic. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with second period action right here on your Steamboat Sailor Sports Connection. We are KTYV Sports on FM at 105.7 and 97.7 on the FM dial and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. And don't forget, you can listen and watch this game on the Steamboat Radio YouTube channel. with an announcement for all our customers. As of March 1st, Doc's Auto Clinic becomes one-off auto center. Same local ownership, same location, and the same honest, dependable service you've trusted for over 20 years. The only thing that's changing is the name. Again, Doc's Auto Clinic becomes one-off auto center starting March 1st. One-off auto center. We go the extra mile. Easy to find at 2565 Copper Ridge Drive. One-off auto center. We go the extra mile. Number six, and I play defense. I've been playing hockey for six years. My
SteamboatMotors.com. <laughs> One strike at a time. and I play defense. I've been playing hockey for probably... This is Matt with Steamboat Roof Company, and we love to sponsor all things Steamboat. As a company, we like to get families and student athletes outside to enjoy all the Steamboat has to offer. Steamboat Roofing Company is proud to sponsor Steamboat Sailor Sports Broadcast. Steamboat's newest furniture store. We've been in Summit County for 15 years and we're excited to bring fashionable, affordable furniture to the longtime locals of Steamboat. Whether you're looking to furnish a rental, remodeling, or just want an updated look, we've got it. We've got 11,000 square feet, carry bunk beds, sleepers, dining room sets, recliners, and much more. We're proud to be a local, family owned furniture store right here in Steamboat.
Gospels of Wood Podcast. Thank you all for participating, watching, or listening. A good night's sleep is important to get home. With Mountain Mattress, best price guarantee, you get the lowest price on all the best brands in the country. We have the largest selection of mattresses in Northwest Colorado, and our family strives to offer the best service in the best. Mountain Mattress and Furniture on Poggers. Mountain Mattress is the place when you need the rest of us. Put our mattresses to the test, and you will see we're the best. Brian Harvey, Kathy Elliott back live at the Howlson Ice Arena. Kathy Elliott working overtime right now. Drew, you're going to have to send me another text and let me know if the video volume is okay. It is really hard to hear here and here, and uh, I guess we are over-modulating a little bit uh, on the Steamboats Radio YouTube channel, but I think I've got that turned down a little bit now. Kathy, what do you think after one period of play, back and forth game? I, I think this is a heavyweight fight, but if you had to take the advantage, it would be the Sailors with the shots on goal and the opportunities and keeping the puck in the offensive zone. But we're going to start off with a minute and 31 on the penalty kill, and the Sailors have got to shut this down, give Kate Cavanaugh the opportunity to stop any shots on goal, but we got a short hand. We need a short handed goal. We need something. We need to find the back of that net. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like we're going to be without Kier Nightcamp for the rest of the game. Um, he got a skate to the forearm and it looks like he's headed to the hospital. So our thoughts and prayers going out to Kier. As a senior, you know he wants to be here with his buds. He is, I am sure, just devastated to not be a part of this, but his spirit is here. Kodiak Kretschmeyer has been able to step up. He's got two bum knees and that kid is playing with a thousand percent heart. And uh, These sailors, we need to find the back of the net. That's pure and simple. That's what win games, but uh, the, the Summit Tigers, they're, they're ready. They're ready to come out and play. And uh, I think the team that scores first needs that competitive advantage and to start putting it away a little bit. Yeah, the Sailors have to keep their cool here. They have to stay out of the penalty box. For a minute 31 here, the Sailors are going to be on the penalty kill. Uh, but if we could just roll three, four lines at a time here. But the Sailors cannot get sucked into this penalty game no, at all. We're at zero to zero, puck drop, second period. So off the face off there, Crutchmar can't control it. Handled here by the Tigers as they walk in, shot trickles wide of Kavanaugh into the corner it goes. Sailors have got Crutchmar and Ripley up top. Sis and Stevenson are D-men. 
Back to the point it goes, controlled here by the Summit County Tigers D. Working the puck in deep is Dixon. That shot through traffic. Stop, turned away, and into the neutral zone it goes. Ripley's going to apply a little bit of pressure. Crutch bar staying back. Winding it up now. Good job there by Landon Ripley just to slow the play down. Puck flipped in, down deep, picked up by Stevenson behind Kavanaugh. Stevenson he got it out. Whams the puck all the way back down past Schroeder, who's still in goal here for the Summit County Tigers. Ripley battling for it, comes away with it, couldn't put it out front. Now Ripley's going to come off the ice. We'll get a quick change there. That was seamless. And now here come the Tigers in deep. 22 seconds left in this power play. Sailor setting up the oh, box, rebound, shot save. He had two on that with Kate Cavanaugh. Got a good ice. Austin Shoreland making a run for the puck. He's such a smart player. Not the biggest kid, but really efficient out there. In the corner, Sailor's battling for it. Puck back out to the point. There's a shot through traffic. That one's turned away by Sis. Flipped up into the neutral zone. Teams are at full strength here. Good pressure there by Back, oh, excuse me, that's Xander Harvey flying around. Z. And that one goes up off the dasher, off the netting, and we're going to get a face-off here in the Summit County end to the stick side of this Tigers goal. We got a good line out here ready to go. Oh, no, nope, we're going to make uh, we're going to make an offensive change. You've got Gavin Wintlinger. you got Finn Beyer. And Gavin's going to take the face-off with uh, number 26, Connor Elliott. 0-0 zero, zero the score. Face-off controlled by Steamboat. Back to the point it goes. Fritz and shot or pass just wide of the net. Wittlinger now controlling it. Oh, good shot, shot by Gavin Wittlinger. Boy, how big would that have been? As he tried to go upstairs. Here comes the puck into the neutral zone. Picked up by Zanamanacek. Puck bouncing around here on this soft ice. And now finally picked up by Fritzen. He pitchforks it in deep. Sailors in on the chase. Byer whacks at it. And here comes Summit out the far side. Up and through the neutral zone. Through the red line. Over the blue line. Weak shot in on Kavanaugh. He turns that one away. Steamboat coming back the other way. Back and forth, end to end hockey. Coast to coast. That's the nomina check. Max takes it in deep. He gets knocked off his feet. No call. Into the corner. Whitlinger with it. Gets it back to the point. Fritzen with a shot through traffic. That one turned away. And here comes the Tigers. Nice play there by Fritzen. Steps up. Gets a stick in the way. Now Max Z. Zanamana check. And now Fritzen. Nice pass to go. Witt. Whitlinger. Headman pass to Beyer. Witt's going to come off. Beyer with a shot. It that was blocked. deflected wide. Coming in is Zip Sawyer. Oh, oh, oh good there opportunity by there. Sawyer. Sawyer Vietnam looking to bury that one. Back to the point it goes. Stevenson now works it D to D. O over to McIntosh. We got an offsides on the play. That was a great opportunity for the Sailors to score. Finn Beyer was in position for that rebound shot, and it got deflected just enough off of a stick to not get that. But that play was there. So those are the types of plays that the Sailors need to continue to make happen on the offensive side. Absolutely. And what I'm seeing is some really smart changes. Coaches are getting the players in and out of the ice and, and staying with the flow and not getting stuck on. Man, <clears throat> Sailors control. Control it off the face-off in the neutral zone here. Puck trickles into the steamboat end. Going to be picked up here by Stevenson. Back behind the Sailors' cage. Up to the side. Can't work it out. That one intercepted. And now, again, Sailors can't get it out of their own end. Working in deep. Heck now with the puck. He goes D to D with it. Back behind the net. Headman oh, pass. Nice play. And here comes... Ripley, Ripley, in wide. There's a shot, and Schroeder with a save. You kind of like those saves. We don't want, we want the Sailor shots to go in, but when those goalies make that catch like they're just catching a ball and warm up with the pitcher in the major leagues, and uh, that's exactly what he did here. But the Sailors, are, they're being aggressive, and, and they're getting plays off. We just need to continue to find the back of that net. No doubt. They're following the shots, looking for those rebounds. Schroeder doing a good job, though, not letting them up. Off the faceoff, controlled here by the Tigers. 
Puck ripped into the steamboat end. Picked up there. Fritzen off the side glass. And now the Tigers bang it into the Sailor's end where it's going to be picked up there by Crutchmar. Crutchmar, ooh, off the oh, side of the that net. That was a risky play. pass in front of the net. We've got to do better. Mama always says no stick handling in front of the net. Crutchmar getting a little too cute on that. We were lucky Kate had a good enough sight on that play to make sure that that puck didn't sneak in. Z works the puck up to Shoreland. Xander battling for the puck. Oh, puck there's Crutchmar. There's a oh, nice yeah, pass. Yeah, yeah, oh. up. Looking for Harvey yeah, back Xander door. Xander Harvey in position. Oh, another follow through with Austin Shoreland around the net. Puck back to Sis. Sis is going to touch it up. No ice on the play. Gets it to Shoreland. Shoreland controlling the puck. Wraps it around. Winds it up. Here comes Austin. Austin over the blue line. Over the red line. Coming in with speed. Takes it wide. Now he slows it down. Tries to control the puck back. Puck fired in. Behind the net. Controlled here by the Tiger D. Good pressure there. Xander Harvey battle. Oh! Hard. Turn around shot. Oh, Sawyer. Oh, rebound. How did that not go rebound, in? Rebound shot. Oh, four shots on goal by the Sailors, and it didn't find the back. So Schroeder up to the task. Sailors, what an opportunity. 11.29 left in this second period. 0-0 zero, zero the score. And right now, Finn Schroeder, the senior goaltender for the Summit County Tigers. Wow. That was, that was some pretty play. He took everything the Sailors had, the opportunities to get in, the shots were there, and he had some incredible saves. So off the faceoff, Sawyer can't control it back. Puck around the boards, kept in by Zanominacek. He loses, and here comes Summit, two on one. Down that right side, looking, shot. Oh. That one goes high off of Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh holds his ground, puck in the air. Sailors trying to work it into the neutral zone. Great play by Bessie, very aggressive. Love to see it. Max Zanominacek can't control into the neutral zone. It goes. And we're going to get a face-off here. Looks like it's going to be an offsides. Those were some fantastic shots on goal the Sailors had. The defensive play of, of, of Summit, it was there. We, we, we got to make these opportunities count. Somebody's got to find it. We don't care who it is on the Sailors' sideline, but we got to make that net. 0-0 zero, zero the score. 10.58 left in this second period. Sailors having some opportunities. Have the puck far side. Zanominacek loses it at the blue line. Here come the Tigers back the other way. Puck flipped into the steamboat end. Picked up there by Stevenson. Heck with a puck. Heck works it across. Sailors. Zanominacek can't get it to his wing. Kept in nicely here by the Tigers. Tigers working it back. Oh. There's a shot through traffic. Stevenson inadvertently screening his goalie, but Kavanaugh makes the stop. Ripley bings it off the uh, sideboards and out. That's going to be an Ooh, ice, nice. and they're going to call it, and the faceoff's going to come back to the steamboat end. Yeah, that was uh, that was some good play right there, but uh, we got lucky that Cade was able to see that, that he wasn't blinded on that shot. So we've got lucky on a couple of the summit shots on goal here tonight, and we got to hope that they don't find the back of that net before we do. Faceoff here to the glove side of Cade Cavanaugh and the Sailors' Cade. 0-0 zero, zero the score. Puck control. Well, both teams right now battling for it. Some had had it initially, but a good job here. They got a little tie-up. There might be a little pocket stealing right here. Somebody's wallet's going to go missing with them along those boards <laughs> right there fighting for that puck. And Summit comes away oh. with it. Puck turned into the neutral zone. Good defensive play there by Fritzen as the puck is chipped into the neutral zone. Good forecheck here by the Sailors as they, again, applying oh, pressure. Peyton Salentich, what a great defensive play right there. Slows it down. Oh, There's a shot. That goal. one goes wide. Salentich is a big kid for a freshman. Physically, he's holding ground, leaves that one for his D partner. Off the sideboards and up into the neutral zone. Sailors giving chase. Are they going to call the ice? They, yeah, they will. 9.30 left in the second period. 0-0 the score. 
What are you seeing, Kath? I, I'm seeing some fire to play, but uh, slowing down a little bit here. We need to keep that press on the offensive zone. The defense is playing, but uh, some are starting to get some shots off, something they didn't have in the first period. So we need to take that away from them, get the puck out of the defensive zone, and we need to score. I keep saying that, but we need to score. Zero to zero. 9.28 to go in the second period. Shot oh. goes wide to Kavanaugh off the post and trickles back out front in front of his crease and he pounces on it and we're going to get another face off here to those, the stick side of the Sailors cage. Those little zinc plays right there scare you to death. Let's get it out of our defensive zone right here. There's a shot yeah. on net. Oh. Kate turns it away over to Shoreland. Shoreland now with a puck looking for the head man pass. Sailors can't get it out. Good job here by Summit keeping the puck in. Zanamana check gets knocked off oh, the play. There's a shot in the back. Loses there's it, and a we're gonna penalty. Get Sailor power play. 9.09 to go in the second period. 0-0. Zero to zero. We've got to score on this one. So going to the sin bin, number 18, Luke Weir. No relation to Bob. We'll be spending some quality time. Interference the call. The faceoff's going to come all the way down to the summit end to the stick side of Schroeder, who's had a heck of a game between the pipes for the Summit County Tigers. The Sailors have Stevenson and Fritzen on D. Bayer centering Ripley and Elliott. Is that yeah, Connor out yeah. there? Here we go. Number Connor. 26 right there. Back to the point. Back to Stevenson. Stevenson. Oh, he's open. He's open right there. Right wing. Sailors working. D to D. Back to Heck. One time oh. shot through traffic. Get some lumber on that uh, one. Puck back around the net. Control back to Stevenson. Stevenson working the angle. There's a shot. That one goes up into the netting. So 0-0 zero, zero the score. What are you seeing, Kath? I'm seeing some opportunities here. The first power play we didn't see. Uh, these guys were keeping an offensive zone, but uh, we need Stevenson with his little sniper shot in and get this scoring going for the Sailors. 8.46 left in this second period. 0-0 zero, zero the score. 138 left in the power play for your Steamboat Sailors. Sailors can't control it. Good job by Stevenson, though, to force the defender to go back into his own zone. Sailors on the forecheck now, able to at least slow it down. Ah, they got it out. 124 left in the power play. Sailors with the puck behind their own net. Stevenson, the junior. Sailors winding it up. Stevenson leaving that one for Fritzen. Fritzen with a head of steam coming coast to coast. The travel agent turns around the net looking back out to the point to his D partner Stevenson. Stevenson over to Elliott. Elliott works it in deep. Connor now with the puck. Connor back out there front to Stevenson. Stevenson. Stevenson waits. There, oh, pass over to Connor. Connor tries to work it behind the net. Connor with the yep, puck. Yep. Elliot can't control. Now the puck. Now they get back. it set up right there. Snipe Ste that in. Stevenson. Ooh. Shot. That went oh, there's there a oh. second shot. Sitting back door. What an opportunity for the Sailors. Controlling. Back to Stevenson. Oh. One time shot off the back glass. Back in deep. 30 seconds he left. Snipe Elliot. that in right there. Back door. Oh. Shot. Saw a little bit of the net offline. And that's off. 7.35 left in the second period. 0-0 zero, zero the score. 21 seconds left. What an opportunity there. Oh, Great control. Had, Sailors had what? Five, six shots they there? They had five or six on shot. I think that goalie got a little tired. That came off pretty easily there. So the face-off here to the stick side of Schroeder in the Summit County end. Sailors now with some fresh legs out there. Kodiak Crutchmar gets it back to the D, back to Bomer. Patty Bomer with the puck. He flips it in deep. And the Sailors keeping it in. Max Z. Zanamana check back behind the net. I think that's Sawyer. Vietnam with the puck now. Back to Max. Max. Oh, oh looking back just door got there. Just a love tap right in, and the opportunity was there, and we missed it. Full strength, seven to go. 0-0, zero, zero, second period. Puck in deep into the corner. And that one's flipped back out, so teams are at full strength. 6.55 left in this second period. 0-0 zero, zero the score, but man. Ah, the Sailors. opportunities. 
I, I think we probably had seven shots yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, in that power play. It, they, they kept it there. They got their <laughs> – they kept control of that puck, and I don't know how we didn't make it in. Several opportunities the last couple offensive series. So Whitlinger's going to try to work the puck back to Sis. He does. Grant with the puck. He fires it down on this near side corner. That's – Byer with it. He circles around the net into Gretzky's right office and out. Oh, oh! Oh, he missed. Uh, I fanned on the first shot, yeah. but that actually nearly had a second shot. Sis now corrals the puck, backhands it up into the neutral zone. Sailors get it in. No ice on the play. And now they oh. give chase. So good pressure here. Good shot, here. By, good steal by Connor Elliott, keeping it in that offensive zone. Whitlinger now with a puck in the corner. <sighs> And Bayer now, again, applying pressure. Sis, though, retreating as we're at full strength now. Oh. No whistle. Oh, no and whistle. Here Get comes you. Summit. There you Sailors. go. Uh, take it, Finn. Now Bayer with the puck. Bayer, cross-ice pass. He's got Sis. Grant takes it in far side. Oh. Chips it in. Looking for a man out front in Whitlinger. Whitlinger couldn't corral that puck. And that's going to be an ice. ice as the puck is fired all the way back down. <sighs> and the Sailors will get a face-off here in the Summit County end. 0-0 zero, zero the score. 5.53 left in the second. Take this opportunity to thank our friends at iFurnish, Steamboat's newest furniture store, easy to find on Shield Drive. Face-off controlled here by Steamboat. Back to Stevenson. Stevenson gets a shot, but it doesn't find its way through to the net. Turned away. Harvey now trying to bat at the puck. Back to Heck. Heck, can they keep uh, it in? No, no, no that's going to no, be an got offside. Out, got offside call. So again, you feel the momentum swinging, Kath, but the Sailors still haven't found the back of the net. There's some good playing going on. This is a fantastic quarterfinal round of the state playoffs. And some came ready to play, and we're seeing exactly what we thought we'd see out of them. So face-off on the offsides, just outside of the summit end. Picked up here by Stevenson. He's at the red line, cross-ice pass to Shoreland. Shoreland just chips yep. the puck in, and now Summit puts it back into the neutral zone, and here they come back the other way. Putting on the brakes, looking for that centering pass. There you go. Good job by Sawyer. To no, I'm sorry, that's Xander Harvey. Steals the puck, and now Steamboat forced to regroup here as Crutchmar has it. Kodiak, cross-ice pass, up to Shoreland. Through the mid, through the, uh, mid, uh, through the uh, center ice here, and uh, Z can't control it. Now McIntosh with the puck. McIntosh is going to flip it up off the boards. Crutchmar can't handle it. Sailors now tag up. They're offsides on the delay. Xander now applying pressure. Nice little pirouette move here by number 12 for Summit County. Oh, great hit, but they're going to call. That's going to go on number eight, Max and Amanacek. So it looks like the Sailors are going to head to the sin bin, not what we wanted. No. It was a good hit. Uh, they didn't like it, but uh, open eye shot. Want to let them know we're still out here, but uh, man down for the Sailors right now. So Max and Amanacek gets called for the tripping. 439 left in this second period. Here's an opportunity for the Summit County Tigers. 0-0 zero, zero the score face-off here in the steamboat end. Sawyer Vietnam's gonna take it. We, we, we've got 434 left, 439 left in, in the second period with the start of a two-minute penalty. Sailors down. The man down. 0-0. Zero, zero. They've got it cleared out. So Bomer and Sawyer Vietnam are our two forwards. Sis and Fritzen are our defenders. The Sailors applying a little bit of pressure, trying to slow this breakout out. Good job by the two forwards. And here comes Summit through the neutral zone and in to the Sailors' end. But good pressure there again by Vietnam. He has had such a great oh, solid season. There's a shot. Wing Rebound. Open. Turned away again. Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh with two saves. 
Their left wing got open. There was an opportunity from the Summit Tigers. And Kate Cavanaugh was able to shut it down. 112 left in this power play. Puck back to the point. Near side here through traffic. That one turned away by Cavanaugh. Sis behind the net. He can't grab it. Puck back out to the point. No, it flip, trickles into the neutral zone. And the Sailors, Patty Bomer, applying pressure. Sailors have had this penalty kill unit out for this whole penalty. They're getting a little gassed. We so got to get this ice, get him off. Oh, oh. backdoor pass. Oh, wait a Gut shot saved by Kate Cavanaugh. 318 to go in the second period. 40 seconds left on the penalty kill for the Sailors. Still 0-0. So, zero to zero. Yeah, Owen Lewis had a golden opportunity there. He's going to see that one in his sleep. He was wide open back door, basically right just in front of the faceoff dot, far side. Ripped the shot. Kate Cavanaugh up to the task as he's been all game. Comes up with a big save. 0-0 the score. 3-19. Ah, got it out of the zone. Good hustle by Finn Beyer. Puck controlled here by the Tigers at the blue line. In deep. There's a shot. That one turned away by McIntosh. 23 seconds left and counting on this power play. D to D they go. Errant pass picked up here near point. Working it down into the corner. Sailors get control. Can they get it out? They can. They did. Headman pass to Byer. Byer streaking in. Oh, Tries to there was a trip. How did they not call the trip on Byer? Byer tried to dangle. Teams are at full strength now. Zanamanacek on the ice. He goes right out there. Zanamanacek has been sitting frothing at the mouth for two minutes, and he's back in. Wanting to make something happen here as we're down to 222 left in this second period. We're still tied at zero. Puck into the neutral zone. Puck fired in, cross ice, and that's going to be an offside. That's good. We need to settle down. The Sailors need to get focused again. A little wild play there out of position. There were several opportunities that the Summit's Tigers had to score. We had some men wide open on both sides of the wings, and uh, they missed those opportunities. We got lucky. They're calling too many men on the ice, so the Sailors are going to get a power okay. play here. So this is a huge penalty. So the Sailors are going to, just as they kill the penalty, are going to get a, a man advantage. And with 2.12 left in this second period, if they can capitalize and get a goal and go into this third period with a goal lead cap, that's huge. That's huge going in. We need to find some momentum somewhere. You got Ripley, Elliott. Out. We're still uh, in Finn Beyer out on the offensive zone with X Stevenson and Angus Fritzen on the defensive side. Sailors off the faceoff, back to Stevenson. Stevenson at the point, working the perimeter. Down deep they go, back behind the net. Sailors controlling, oh. looking for a man out front. That one's tipped wide and fired all the way down. Kavanaugh's going to streak out of his own net. He's going to leave it for Heck. Heck now. He'll let his defenseman wind up. Fritzen with a head of steam. Over the blue line, over the red line, over the blue line and in deep. Behind the net, the travel agent. Puts it behind the net. That's Beyer. Beyer back over to Fritzen. Out to Stevenson. Stevenson ah, through traffic. Good save. Schroeder with a big save. Big shout out to the Paoli group of the group Realty. Let Chris Paoli and his team help you with all your real estate needs. The Paoli group has you covered. All right, Kath, what do we got here? Right, there's some mugging going on in the front of that net. They're battling to get in position to be able to get that re reflective shot in. And, and it's uh, we got to make something happen right here. Face we got to see control. one of the defensive guys just snipe that bad boy in. Sailors control. Fritzen puts it in softly down to Ripley. Ripley back out to the point. Stevenson with the puck. Back to Fritzen. Fritzen back to Rip. Ripley with the puck. Walks in. Pirouettes. Circles back, looking, puts it in deep there to Fritzen. Fritzen now with the puck. Fritzen controlling. He's got Connor Elliott. There he Leaves is. it for Sleep Elliott. Bad boy. Elliott. There. Oh! oh, that one deflects wide. Pinballs into the corner. Picked up by the Sailors. We're down to 47 seconds left in the power play. Oh, that one is tipped wide. 
Sailors control. Connor Elliott with it. Gets it back there to... There it is. Uh, Stevenson back to Elliott. Back to Stevenson. Far side. Oh! There's a shot. That one through traffic. Sailors can't control. Now Connor with the puck. He gets it back to Heck. Heck, Stevenson with it. Across the blue line. Back to Elliott. Elliott walks it in. Looking for a man oh! back door. He was can't there. find Fritzen. Fritzen. And a good job by Stevenson uh -huh. to get a stick on the puck. Can't get it up. Ref gets in the way. And we're down to 20 seconds left in the period. Six seconds left in the power play. And the Sailors trying to work it out of their own end. Now we've got teams at full strength. Byer able to touch that puck, so there's no icing on the play. Puck into the neutral zone and out. And... And that's going to do it. Ah. So after two periods of play, we're still tied at zero, Kath. So many opportunities. That was really well-played power play by the Sailors. Opportunities, moving the puck around, seeing the eye, seeing the opportunities. And another great save by the Summit County goalie. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank a few more of our sponsors. Our friends at Mountain Eye Works, helping you and the refs see better. Mountain Eye Works, for all your eye care needs in Central Park Plaza and online at Mountain iWorks.com. Also like to thank Doc's Auto Clinic, soon to be one-off performance center. Easy to find on Copper Ridge Drive. So, Kath, what do the Sailors have to do here oh. in this third period? You know, the opportunities are there. They're making the best of them, and fantastic play by both goalies in tonight's game. The Sailors have the advantage on shots on goal, but we just have not been able to find the back of that net. Exceptional play, uh, but the Sailors have got to come out. We're going to be full strength at the start of the third period, and this is something that we saw at the end of the season with the last game against the Summit Tigers. It was back and forth play and uh, so far nobody has found that goal and as the closer we get to the end of this game finding that back of the net is going to be more and more important. Absolutely. It's a nail biter here at the Howells and Ice Arena as we are tied at zero. Big shout out to Steamboat Roofing. For all your roofing needs go to SteamboatRoofing.com helping the sailors raise the roof after every victory. Also like to thank Switchback Sports, a proud Steamboat Sailors sports sponsor and sponsoring all your skiing and biking needs at the corner of Fourth and Lincoln in the Into the West Building downtown Steamboat, and of course our friends at Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank. They are lending with locations in Steamboat and Craig. Member FDIC and Alpine Lumber. Alpine Lumber for all your building material needs. Easy to find on the other side of the tracks from Walgreens. So after two periods of play, we'll be back with third period action right here on KTYV. Your Steamboat Sailor Sports Connection at 105.7 and 97.7 on the FM dial and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. authors, read favorite books, find activities to keep young readers engaged, and teachers can enter the Rally to Read sweepstakes for a chance to win 100 books for their school, subject to rules. Inspire the joy of reading today. Visit rallytoread.org. Rally to Read!
Platform, linear, or digital. In the audio universe, only AM FM radio can deliver the scale advertisers need. A daily habit for millions, radio is a particularly effective medium due to its legacy of reaching listeners during the prime hours of the day, where they're out of the home and closest to the point of purchase. If you're a local business owner, make the most of your ad dollars by contacting Steamboat Radio at SteamboatRadio.com. That's SteamboatRadio.com. <laughs>
Kathy Elliott back live at the House and Ice Arena. After two periods to play, it's the Steamboat Sailors zero, the Summit County Tigers zero. Quarterfinal action here in the State 4A playoffs. Win and you move on, lose, you go home. We've got to make that final, that Frozen Four. The Sailors have worked hard this season uh, to get in that position. We've got to make something happen right here. We're down to our last 17 minutes. The heart is out there for both teams, but the Sailors need to get more physical and keep the ball in the, or the puck in the offensive zone and find the back of that net. We keep saying it, but that's what needs to happen. This rink is alive and on fire the student section, standing room only. I've even seen some parents brave enough to go over there and try and find a seat because there's no other seats. But uh, House and Ice Arena, fantastic venue for a quarterfinal high school hockey state playoff game. So we got Sawyer Vietnam on the faceoff. Can't control it. Puck bouncing dangerously around. Finally chipped away there by Heck Stevenson. Puck still in the steamboat end here at the blue line. Into the neutral zone it goes. Oh, Controlled mom momentarily there. Good job by Ripley to slow the play up. Now steamboat and Sis on that house and pond. You get a little bit of water. Makes the ice sticky. You kind of 
Oh, good steal by Landon Ripley. Ripley can't there get the go. puck up. Now here comes Hicks Stevenson. Stevenson. Stevenson striding in over the blue line. Takes it in deep, circling. Looking for someone out front. Circles all the way around. Takes it back out to the blue line. Cross ice pass there. Far side. Sawyer now battling for it. Ripley looking for it. Ripley knocks his own player down. Now Sawyer, Vietnam with the puck back behind his own net. Gets it out to Fritzen. Fritzen whacks at it. Back deep. Sailors battling. Ripley can't come up with it. Now Bomer. Bomer cycles the puck back deep. Steamboat can't control at the blue line. Good job by Stevenson to just whack it off the boards. And here comes the Summit County Tigers. A one on four. There's a shot through traffic. That one's turned away. Back out to the point, far side. Sailors settling up and setting up on the defensive side. Now Ripley over the red line gets broken up. And now the puck controlled here by the Summit County Tigers. And they're going to say no ice. They're thinking that Max and Amanacek should have touched it. Puck bouncing around. Bayer can't come up with it. Still, this ice is so soft. Always tough early on in this period before it has time to set up. Now, Zanamanacek winding his way out of the Sailor's end over the red line. Knocks the puck in deep. He's going to give chase. Sailor's come up with it far side. Looking. Bayer uh, can't find the handle on it. And now it goes back behind the net. Whitlinger, good forecheck there by Gavin. <sighs> Puck now in the neutral zone and handled by Zanamanacek. Max weaves his way back behind his own net. Now he's going to wind it up. Splits the forwards there, and it goes all the way back to the Summit County D. Now Grant Sis with it. Sis spins. Oh, loses the puck. Hex going to step up. No, that's Zanamanacek. And here comes... Crutchmar, Crutchmar, Kodiak looking for a man out front in Bayer. Couldn't connect. And now it's into the neutral zone and corralled here by Stevenson. Stevenson to Sis. Sis backhands it off the sideboards, back behind the net. Shoreland giving chase. Austin comes up with it, back behind the net. He can't control. Lots of pressure here. And now Summit bringing it in far side. Grant Sis gets a body in there. Now Sis behind the net. Now Summit with the puck. Can't handle it. Oh, there's a hit from behind. No oh, call. A good play. No, they're going to call it. They're going to call it. Yeah, we got uh, some good drama going on right there. It was a good hit, but uh, can't tell if he's going to call it or not. Looks like so it, it did look like it could have been a boarding or a hit from behind. The Summit County player did go down, but neither of the doors are open. So I think the Sailors got away with one there, Kat. They, they got lucky on that one, but I, it looked pretty close. I think it was, uh, these guys are letting them play. They're letting them play this game. It's going to be sighted on the ice, not by the officials. So, so far it's been a good called game Absolutely. for these guys. Puck back behind the net. That's McIntosh battling for it, looking for Shoreland here near side. Goes, it's in the Sailor's end. Puck dug out there by the Tigers. Puck deflects high into the netting behind the net. Sailors are collapsing on every offensive play that someone has to do. So they're really trying to find an avenue to get in and score. But they're collapsing. They're in position. And they're making it really difficult. They're keeping Cade out of the game a little bit. So he's not having to make that uh, that save at the net. But the Sailors, uh, we got to get it out of our defensive zone. 13-33 left in this uh, third period. 0-0 the score. Puck behind the Sailors' net. Summit with the puck in the corner. Good defense there by Fritzen. Sailors can't come away oh, with it. Oh, good right, Here Let's we go. go. Let's here. go, Lance Bessie. Bessie streaking in. Bessie backhand. Oh, how did that not go in? Oh, my. What an opportunity. That was some great offensive play. Lance Bessie with the steal, taking it down, passed it to Ty Norton. Again, another incredible save by the Summit goalie. The play was there. The opportunity was there. Norton right in the crease, just ran out of real estate. Yeah, great play. So Sawyer Vietnam on the faceoff to the stick side of the Summit net. Puck controlled by the Tigers. And here they come into the neutral zone. 
There we go, right there. It was a really good physical play by Heck Stevenson. Letting the uh, Summit player know he's around right there. Yeah, and no call. Again, it was it was a little dangerous as uh, it looked like the Summit County Tiger was looking for Heck. And Heck just kind of pushed him out of the way, so no call there. Face off just outside of the steamboat end. Crutchmar with the face off. He's got Bomer to his left, Ripley to his right. Off the face off. It's pushed forward now, controlled by Stevenson. He takes it back behind his own net. Stevenson to Fritzen. Fritzen pirouettes, gets it to Bomer. Bomer off Let's the sideboards. Cody had great play. Good setup there. And Ripley can't he got it control out. it. And now it's picked up by Fritzen. Fritzen across to Heck. Stevenson. There's a shot. Oh! Wow. Wow. That was an errant pass on the Sailors, and uh, that was set up for, for Summit to come in and score. So, number six buried it. He intercepted it. Graham Schumann puts the Summit County Tigers up 1-0. Sailors now are going to have to dig deep. 12.34 left in this third period. Plenty of time left. Let's go, Sailors. The, now, our, it, the opportunities are there. We can find the back of that net. That was a that was uh, that was a little mental drop on the Sailors, but uh, we need to get it back right here. Absolutely, lots of hockey left. Puck bouncing around, picked up by Fritzen. Now Crutchmar walking the puck in, looking for Ripley. Ripley. Oh, Patty Bomer had the shot right there. And that was a nice pass by Ripley. He just kicked the puck right to Bomer, and Bomer let it rip, and that one nearly went in. We got a this net is off its mooring, so we're going to get a face-off here in the summit zone. We've got to come in right here. We've got Patty Bomer, we got Kodiak Kretschmeyer in the center, and uh, Landon Ripley on the right wing, Grant Sisson and Angus Fritzen. So a great line in here that can score, and they can score fast. So off the faceoff, Bomer tries to control the faceoff from Crutchmar. Crutchmar battling for it. And here comes Summit back the other way. The Tigers working the puck in. Into the neutral zone. Bodies flying all over the place. Back into the steamboat and in deep. Sis now. Puts the puck back into the pressure, handled by Fritzen. Fritzen playing the body well. Up against the boards, Fritzen is a big boy. He's a massive guy that's going to be able to get that puck out of that zone. Ripley now backhands it, but not out. There's a shot turned away by Kavanaugh. Centering pass through traffic. Puck bouncing. Still in the steamboat end. 11.30 left in this third period. Sailors down, one nothing. Here comes Steamboat. Headman pass there from Crutchmar. We're doing a line shift when we had the opportunity. It was Landon Ripley, one on five out there. But we've controlled it, kept it in the offensive zone. You got Heck Stevenson out there. You got Gavin Wittlinger. So Stevenson ben gets Meyer. it back to McIntosh. McIntosh with the puck. Centering pass. Rebound across the crease. That one goes out into the neutral zone. Net is once again off the mooring. So we're going to have a whistle and a face-off down in the steamboat end, which we will we will take. We'll, we'll take whatever we can get right here. The Sooners are, or the Steelers are down. <laughs> one to nothing. 10.57 to go in the third period period and the sailors have got to make something happen we've got good players out there Gavin Wittlinger is going to take the, the face off here to the summit side we need just a quick win here and a little snap in find the back of the goal so Wittlinger off the face off he pushes it forward sailors still trying to control Bayer battling oh, for the puck and a nice by Finn Bayer Bayer puts the puck in deep centering oh, rebound. oh how that did that not go in Connor Elliott had the shot on goal right there and then the puck back to Stevenson. Stevenson controlling. McIntosh now gets it D to D. Flips it up to Whitlinger. Whitlinger gets a stick on it. Puck pushed forward. Good forecheck here by Steamboat. And Summit works it into the neutral zone. Play broken up by Stevenson. Momentarily puck trickling into the Steamboat end. Picked up there by McIntosh. McIntosh behind the Sailors net in the far corner. 
Can't come up with it. Now Stevenson. Backhand pass to Elliott. Yeah, Elliott into the neutral it. zone. And the puck fired back into the steamboat end. Ten minutes left in this third period. Sailors down by a goal. one nothing the score. Byer loses the puck momentarily. McIntosh now. Centering pass. There Steve you go, Austin. Austin tries to flip that pus puck up to Byer. There you go, Now Austin. up to Shoreland. Shoreland with some speed. Streaking down the right wing side. Takes it in deep. Who's out front? He's got Sawyer. Oh, he's Sawyer! right there! Couldn't, couldn't get the puck he was on it went to his backhand side couldn't get his stick over i don't know if he saw it or not now zanamana check along the sideboards here and now summit brings the puck in deep good back check there by uh, sawyer great play by sawyer right there kind of holding him up gain control of the puck steamboat can't get it out of their own end puck off the sideboards into the neutral zone sailors and shoreland now on the four check puck ripped up and that's got to be an ice some good office opportunities on yep. the offense then buyer kept that puck in a shot wide but the sailors have had some opportunities man we've had opportunities we said that all night they've had opportunities to find the back of that net and uh, something's got to fall we got 902 to go in the third period sailors down one to nothing against the summit tigers Face off here to the stick side of the Tigers net. Crutchmar off the face off. Can't control it. Ripley, though, gets a stick on it. Puts the puck in deep. Puck now behind the net to Ripley. Steering oh. pass. Crutchmar couldn't bury it. Now Ripley battling it. Back checking. And here come the Tigers. Into the neutral zone. Over the red line. Into the steamboat end. In deep. Tigers back into Gretzky's office. Centering pass. Debo can't come up with it. Puck in deep. Centering pass. Turned away. Rebound. Chai oh. No goal. That one's waved off. The net moved. The ref was right on it. No goal. There was a little bit of clown fighting going on around that net. Sailors need to be in better position. We got lucky that net got knocked off. Some of so, fans are not happy. That was a clear call. I, I had a good eye yeah. on the head ref. He was blowing the whistle. He waved it off before it even happened. Summit County fans are not happy. Stay classy, San Diego. <laughs> 828 left in the third period. Sailors down by one. They've had some opportunities here. All they've got to do here is tie this one up. We need to just settle down a little bit. The plays are there. We need to make it happen. We're still able to control the puck, move it around, and uh, there are opportunities right here. Kodiak Kretschmeyer won that face off. Sex Stevenson's. <sighs> Heck He's got control. Behind the net, bringing it up here near side. Heck sends it forward, ahead to Ripley. Ripley can't control it at the blue line. Stevenson throwing the body around, and no call there. Kavanaugh's going to leave the puck for Sis. Sis with the puck now. Sis working it up to Stevenson. Nice cross ice pass. Looking there, for Landon. a crutch bar. Here Get comes there. Ripley. Ripley. Oh, that was a trip at penalty. Sears are going on a power play with 7.53 to go in the third. This is huge. So Ripley had an opportunity. He was hauled down from behind. And the Sailors, as Kathy said, will have a man advantage here. Take this opportunity to thank our friends at Yampa Valley Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank with locations in Steamboat and Craig. Also a big shout out to Alpine Lumber, the contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend for all your building material needs. Go see Cody and the gang at Alpine Lumber. Mountain Mattress and Furniture helping you and the sailors get a good night's sleep. Coming for a test nap today in Loggers Lane. We've got Austin Shirland yep. taking the face off. The he sailors are controlling the puck. So the puck worked in. Zanamana check works it behind the net. Steamboat controlling. There's a pass. Shot. Oh! oh, what an opportunity as Shoreland got the shot off. Schroeder came up with a save. Bomer sitting back door. 
almost had it. We almost had it, folks. Sorry on that. The cord's grabbing the, the camera every time I'm trying to look <laughs> and get caught up in the play. 7.38 left in the third. one nothing to score. Sailors down. Puck controlled by Shoreland. Shoreland to Bayer. Bayer, oh, oh, couldn't thread the needle there, but gets, gets the puck back. Sailors controlling. Zanamana check. Max streaking down the right wing side. Oh, he's awesome. He's right there. Takes it deep. Sailors working it in back behind the net. Steamboat controlling, circling. That's Bayer. One-timer. Oh, didn't get all of that. And here comes the Tigers. So we got 114 left in the power play. 704 left in this third period. Sailors down by a goal. We got to tie it. Sailors with a man advantage. Oh, Shoreland can't control. Back the other way. Tigers taking it in deep. Steamboat can't control. Nice play there by Zanamanacek. Takes the puck back. Shoreland now with it. Shoreland back to Max. The Sailors look like they're on a penalty kill instead of a power play. They need to be a little more aggressive and move that puck up the ice. You got Patty Bomer across the blue line. Pulled himself off offside. Off sides. So and what happened there is, is at least the deep pairing was on the ice for a long time. Shoreland couldn't get off the ice, so he was on the ice for a good minute 20. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're playing hockey, that is a hoonsie. It's a long time. So this being in the third period. we got 40 seconds to go. 6.33 left in the game. One to nothing. Summit Tigers steamboat on a power play. Puck up oh, top. Step, great kept play in by, by Stevenson. Stevenson. Steven, Stevenson working it in. Spinning. Oh. oh! Looking for Fritzen. Back deep. Couldn't get it to him. We're down to 26 seconds. All the way back down to Cade Cavanaugh. Fritzen's going to wind it up. Fritzen's got some room to move. Fritzen. <sighs> headman pass. Ah. Oh, loses it. Couldn't get it to Connor yeah, Elliott. too long. Off the sideboards. Down to 10 seconds left. Here comes Ripley. Ripley. Oh, there's a From hook behind. right there. Another, another power penalty. play. Another power play opportunity for the Sailors. Huge play as Ripley was hacked from behind. He was mugged. He's missing a wallet right there, people. It's a good play to drive the puck down in the Sailors' offensive zone. Sailors got another two minutes, 5.52 left in the third period, down one to nothing with the opportunity for the Sailors to tie this game up. 5.52, one nothing to score. Sailors have the face off here, glove side of the summit goal. Schroeder's been incredible between the pipes for the Tigers. Sailors trying to control the face off. So Steamboat can't. Puck flipped all the way down to Cade Cavanaugh. He leaves it for Fritzen. Fritzen off the half boards, up to Elliott. Elliott there you go. controlling it. Up the right wing side. He's got some open ice over the blue line. Takes it in deep. He's right there. Ty Norton in front of the net. Elliott spins. Circles behind the net. Back to the point. Heck Stevenson with it. He's going to walk it in. Stevenson takes it in deep. He's got Fritzen. Fritzen's oh! through traffic. Stevenson. Oh, good uh, idea. As he gets it over Heck to Elliott. Stevenson had it. He had it right there to Elliott. It was Connor a good idea. Connor back to Stevenson. Stevenson through traffic. That one turned away by Schroeder. Off the backboard. Sailors control. Puck ba backhanded in by Fritzen. Fritzen into the corner. Over to Ripley. Back to Fritzen. Fritzen now with the puck. Fritzen back to the point to Stevenson. Heck now. Dangles in deep. Ripley shot. Oh! Rebound. And we got a whistle. Nets again Nets off. off the mooring. Nets At off. some point, you gotta you gotta warn that goalie. That's about the fifth time he's kicked that net off the mooring. Now, it actually works out okay for the Sailors because those guys have been on the ice for a minute yeah. thirty. Yeah, they're gassed. They're moving on. We got a new line change. We got power play two line that's out there. We're gonna have Austin Shoreland and center taking that face off. Fantastic opportunities here for him. He's winning those face offs. You've got uh, Sawyer Vitanen on uh, the left. Left wing and uh, who is it? Patty Boomer on the right, Max Zanamanacek, and uh, Finn Beyer on defense. So Zanamanacek with the puck works it in deep down to the corner, gets it to Sawyer. Vietnam gets it back to Max, back to Sawyer behind the net. 
Sawyer controlling from Gretzky's office, looking for a man out front. That one goes off the net, deflects weirdly, and goes all the way down to the steamboat end. 20 seconds left in this power play. Beyer with the puck. Beyer puts on the brake, heads the other way. Headman pass to Max Z. It's a nominee check, streaks into the zone, loses a puck. Shoreland now pressuring. Shoreland, all hands right on there. deck. Beyer works it over to Max Z. Sailors tag it up. Good job by Sawyer to work it in deep. Get on him. Let's pressure full the puck. strength. 348 left in this third and final period. Sailors down by a goal. That should have been a high stick. And they're going to call it. Icing. Sailors have had the opportunities. I, I, I don't know what else we can say. Beautiful play set up on the power plays. We've had two in a row right here. 3.34 to go. 3.39 to go in the third period. Down on the offensive side of the Sailors. And uh, you got Kodiak Crooksmeyer. Xander Harvey out and Gavin Whitlinger. So a good line on the offensive sign that can find the back of the net. Somebody's got to make something happen. Got Angus Fritzen and Grant Sis. So really good line out there offensively and defensively. Taking the puck back down to the offensive side for the Sailors. Uh, we need to see Kodiak win this faceoff and get a snipe shot in because that's that's what it's going to take on this Summit goalie. 3.32 left in the third period. Sailors down by one. Faceoff to the stick side of the Summit goal. Crutchmar on the faceoff. Can't control it back. Xander Harvey pressuring. Puck off the sideboards. Kept in there nicely by Sis. Puck now trickles all the way down to the steamboat end. We're down to 3.20. Fritzen battles for it. And now Summit with the puck. Far side. That's there Kerr. There you go. Kerr. Got it. Oh. Puck out into, not yeah. quite to the neutral He's zone. Able kept, to save it. Kept in nicely. Now Sis with the puck. Sis backhands it up this near side to Xander Harvey. Harvey with wheels. Harvey loses the puck but gets it to Crutchmar anyway. Now Sis Great gets it. Great steal a by Grant. Sis staying with the puck. Now Kodiak. Pressuring, pushing the puck in. Steamboat onside. Whitlinger tries to thread the needle there to Xander Harvey. Harvey gets in there. The freshman battling for the puck. Can he get it now? The neutral zone. Sis to Fritzen. Fritzen wraps it around. Schroeder handles the puck behind his own net. Puck off the sideboards. Again, good pressure here. Sailors can't control. Into the neutral zone. We're down to 220. Back into the steamboat end, into the corner, and now Heck Stevenson with the puck. He's going to wind it up. Heck with some wheels. He's got some ice. Heck's coming coast to coast, taking it down the right side. Who's with him? He's got Sawyer right there in front of the net. Stevenson puts on the break, centering pass. Sawyer gets it. Far side. Oh, oh nice pass. Looking for Bomer. Bomer couldn't thread the needle there. Puck back behind the net. Now it's Ripley. Ripley battles for the puck. Works it in deep. And now Sawyer's going to have to forecheck. Getting some help. Puck trickles to the Summit Tiger. Into the neutral zone they go. We're down to 138. Got to think about pulling the goalie here. Sailors down by one. Now Ripley. Ripley walking in. Ripley dangles through traffic. Backhand uh. shot. Can't get it off. And that one turned away. We're down to 129. Sailors have pulled the goalie. Empty net for Steamboat. Extra man on. Buck not cleared. Now it's fired all now the way down. Now it's out, and, and when we needed that break, we need a line change out of here. A minute 12 to go in the third period. Sailors down one to nothing. This is an incredible game that we knew was going to come down on the wire. We were hoping that the Sailors were going to have that 1-0 lead. We've got a timeout on the ice at uh, 1-12 to go. Man, what a oh. game. 1-0 the uh, score. The Sailors certainly have had some opportunities, but they just have not been able to convert. Schroeder has played the game of his life and has kept this Summit cat well. That's why Summit's yeah. in this game right now. It, it, it's all gloves off. Once you get into the playoffs, anybody can come out and, and play. But these teams, both teams want it. The Sailors have the heart and the desire to get in there. Still a little, a lot of time left. A minute 12 to go. We pulled the goalie. Sooners need to control this face off, keep it in the offensive zone, do six on five, and do a quick score. And we know that can be done. That happened down at uh, 
We were in Glenwood Springs. Yep. And uh, so the opportunity is there. Just put your, your five best players out on the ice here. So we got we got Fritzen. Shoreland's probably going to take the face off. We'll see. Shoreland has been, I think he's been about 98% off the face off. Crutchmar is actually going to take this. Crutchmar works it back. Steamboat can't control into the neutral zone. It goes. We're down to 112. Stevenson with the puck. Stevenson leaves it for Kodiak. Kodiak winding it up. Slides in on that far right side. Looking for someone out front. Puck taken away. Now Stevenson brings it into the corner. Heck behind the net. Heck off the backboards. Brings it up top to Fritzen. Fritzen back to Stevenson. Heck with the puck. Puts it behind the net. Good puck movement. Puck bouncing around. Steamboat can't get the shot. Now they do. There's a shot by Sawyer. Sawyer back around the net. Oh! Oh, he's down the back of the he's net! He's down the back of the net! One to nothing! 41 seconds left in the game! Sawyer beats it in! Sawyer hits it off the back of the goalie, and the Sailors put it in! A lucky... We'll take we'll it! We'll take whatever we can get! One to one! New game! Great play! So cool to see. Sawyer Vietnam was playing Bantam hockey last year. Watching that kid play from the time he was a mite. He used to be the chubby fat kid. Now he's the fastest he's kid on the, the ice. He's the fastest one out there. He is a beast. He's worked Sears. his tail off. 41 seconds to take the win right here. Wow. Huge play by Sawyer Vietnam. Love it. Love it. Could not have happened to a better kid. Sawyer in deep. Sawyer with the puck. Looking to get another one. Sis flips the puck in deep. 27 seconds left. Sailors want to end it. They don't want to go to... Oh! There's a shot. Turned away by Schroeder. Puck kept in by Sis. And we've got a whistle. Net off the mooring once again. Yeah. Way to go, Sailors. 16.5 seconds left in the third. One to one with the Sailors taking the face off in the offensive zone. Now, this should be an Nope, open. nope, nope. I, we're yeah. in the neutral zone. It looks like it's going to be in the neutral zone. I, again, I, I, I won't be warning that goalie. I think it should be in, and it looks like it is going to be in the steamboat, uh, in the Summit County end. Let's go Sailors. So with 16.5 seconds, we're playing men's league. I'm pulling our goalie. We're not playing men's nah. league, so we're not going to do that. Now, nah. one to one, 16.5 seconds. And actually, we've got a penalty. The Sailors are going in with a power play opportunity with 16 seconds to go in the game. That's huge. Because that's going to that's gonna go into overtime, even if the Sailors don't score here. Sawyer Vietnam's going to take this face off. He's got Fritzen and Stevenson behind him. He's going to try to work the puck back here to Fritzen. He's got Connor Elliott to his right and Ripley to his left. Puck off the face off. Ripley tries to get a seeing eye puck through. Nothing. And that puck's going to be cleared. We're down to eight seconds. Fritzen now with the puck winding it up. Fritzen from his own end. He's going to clear it, and... Sailors are going to have a minute 44 on the power play in the beginning of overtime, and I don't know how the playoffs work. Regular season, it's four-on-four, four, five-minute running clock, but now we need a winner. So they're going to play to the sudden death. We'll see if it's five-on-five. Five. Are they going to... They're going to come in are and they gonna zam. They're going to come in and zam. Sailors are going to get a little bit of a break. They got a little pep in their step. Those boys are going high fives, skating off in. Sailors have the advantage going into the overtime. So, a huge goal by Sawyer Vietnam. Great play, Absolutely. great setup to collapse around that goal and not get it out of that zone and in the back of that net. So, we're going to take a quick 10 minute break. We will be back with overtime action. Sailors will have a power play for a minute 40. 
four of this first overtime. It's sudden death. We will see you on the other side. You're tuned to KTYV Sports on FM at 105.7 and 97.7 on the FM dial and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com.
proud sponsor of Tingle Springs High School Sports Broadcast. For the girls participating, watching, or listening, a good night's sleep is important to them. Mountain Mattress, best price guaranteed. We get the lowest price on all the best brands in the country. We have the largest selection of mattresses in Northwest Colorado, and our family strides to offer the best service and best. Mountain Mattress and Furniture on Auto. Mattresses place when you need to rest your eyes. But our mattresses do the test, and you will say we're the best. Harvey, Kathy Elliott back live at the Howlson Ice Arena. The ice has been done. We're ready for overtime action. 1-1 the score. Sailors score on a Sawyer Vietnam goal with 44 seconds left in the ball game. Sailors got a little puck luck as the puck bounced off the back of the goalie and went in as Sawyer was trying to get the puck out front. But you know what? We will take it. We'll take whatever they want to give us. Big shout out to uh, Massachusetts and Tanner Hamilton for listening from nice. this game. We miss you, Tanner. And uh, shout out to our Texas crew and our family that supported us all through the Texas tournament back in January and our Oklahoma people and our, our Michigan people. So, hey, we've got some great sailor hockey left. Looks like it's eight minutes of overtime. I'm guessing it's sudden death. The question is, is it going to be four on four or five on five? The sailors are lined up. Summit Tigers are lined up. They're ready for the ice to firm up a little bit. And I, I like this. Let the ice get yeah, hard yeah. because this rink is warm right now. We got a lot of people in here and we want a fair hockey game. And when there's pools of water out there, it's really hard to play. Let's take this opportunity 
to announce to our Steamboat friends to join us for Attitude is Gratitude. It's a benefit and tailgate party for Coach Chris Adams. Uh, we want to celebrate and raise money for our dear coach, mentor, teacher, and friend. It's going on this Sunday, March 3rd, 3 p.m. at Howelson Hill. Come enjoy music, food, and friends while helping the Adams family sail through Chris's battle with cancer. Of course, Chris, middle school gym teacher, basketball coach, all around great guy and awesome dad. Um, love Chris and, and whatever people can do, there's a GoFundMe page set up. I understand there's some great drawing prizes. Uh, they'll be uh, uh, taking donations. There'll be food and drink, um, auction items as well. So uh, let's help Chris, Lisa, Kellen, Brady, the whole Adams family, and uh, come on out this Sunday. We know there's something special about being from Steamboat. We give back. We take care of our own. Come out and support Coach Adams. We all love him. You've got a kid that's gone anywhere through the middle school at Strawberry Park, and, and you've been impacted by this good family. And let's come out and support him. Let's help him get through this. We can beat this cancer together as a community and to help the Adams family for that. Uh, the ice, uh, you, you can see it's starting to firm out. We've got the uh, see, the summit goalie out there. He's trying to mesh it up a little bit. King Cavanaugh, he's waiting. He's waiting for them to blow the whistle to get out on this. Folks, this was some fantastic play that the Sailors have done tonight. And uh, I think the competitive advantage is going to be the Sailors. We've got a minute 44 in a power play in an eight minute sudden death overtime period. And we'll and play another overtime if this one is still tied. Whatever tied. it takes. There's heart on both of these teams. It's great to see the mountain communities going in and competing for a spot on the frozen floor down at uh, the South Suburban uh, rinks down on Saturday. We hope it's our Steamboat Sailors down there. It's great to see some of the play from our seniors that are out there. Kodiak Kretschmeyer, he's got a lot of heart. He's got two bum knees. He's out there playing. He's going to have double knee surgery coming in March after this wow. is all out in goal. Uh, we had a fluke goal that came in that, that made it up one to nothing on Summit, but Sawyer Vietanen, he came in. He's been a little dry lately on the uh, offensive side, but we knew it was in him, and it was great to see that play from the freshman, the sophomore that comes in and plays. These guys are bounding on the walls. We've got standing room only here at House and Ice Arena. All around the rink, you're seeing people standing here. We we wish that uh, Cure Night Camp was out here able to participate. Hey, we miss you, Jacob French. We're sorry that you're sick. Get better. Be ready to go, hopefully, for Saturday's play. We love you guys. And the Sailors Hockey Summit Tigers are out on the ice, and we're ready. Minute 44 to go in the power play. Let's end this now, Sailors. Let's go to the Frozen Four in Denver on Saturday. Big shout-out to Yampa Valley Band. Bank, the Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank with locations in Steamboat and Craig. They are lending member FDIC and Alpine Lumber for all your building materials. The contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend. Go see Cody and the gang at Alpine Lumber. All of our sponsors for making Steamboat Sailors sports a reality here on the radio and on the Steamboat Radio YouTube channel. It's me, Brian Harvey, alongside Kathy Elliott. Kathy got thrown in. I apologize, Kath. I thought Kelly Bomer was coming up here, but you know, you've done a very nice hey, job, I sister. I appreciate this opportunity. We have such a great community and a great family culture for the Steamboat Sailors hockey, and I'm glad to be a part of it, be up here announcing with our our best, Brian Harvey. So everybody's out stretching. Uh, Summit Tigers are out shooting on their goalie. Looks like 29s and out there instead of our number one interesting. that we've seen out here. I, I can't imagine that they're going to make a change in overtime. Keith Cavanaugh, he's set. He's ready to go. So, you know... You know what? I that it does look oh. like they're going uh, All with, right. with the other goaltender. Okay, that's that's interesting. So Lights Matt, out. Matthew Tater, the junior, is getting the overtime start. This is very very interesting. Um, 
curious as to why they would do that, but, you know, hockey is a weird sport. Sailors have a power play for a minute 44. Eight minutes of ice. We'll see at least two of these overtime periods. I don't think we go into a, a, into a shootout situation. Uh, it might be after the first eight minutes, a minute 44. I think we Looks, get I think we get two get overtimes. Two they won't do ice We've between got the Sorry second and third. In. It's going to take the face off. Landon Ripley on left wing. Connor Elliott on right wing. We've got Hex Stevenson and Angus Fritzen on defense. So Fritzen controls the puck over to Stevenson. Heck brings it down the right wing side. Streaks in down low. Heck puts on the brakes. Works it back to Connor Elliott. Flip pass over to Fritzen. Fritzen with the puck. Back to Stevenson. Oh, Stevenson oh. can't handle it. Puck lost. Two on one here for a second. Heck gets back. Uh-oh. And a nice Good play by Heck Stevenson. Heck. We got half the team in the net of the Sailors. Off net. That's, and I, I, I thought Heck could have gotten called there for a trip. They're not going to call it, um, which is good, but that was a little bit scary. He poked at the puck, and then the player went down over him. Technically, a ref definitely could have called that. 118 left in this power play for your Steamboat Sailors. 734 left in the overtime period. Doesn't matter. It's sudden death. Face off here to the stick side of the Sailors goal. Puck controlled here by Ripley. Ripley gets it to Stevenson. Heck fires the puck up to Fritzen. Fritzen back to Heck. Heck loses the puck in his skate. Now he's going to regroup. Sailors going to wind it up here. Headman oh, pass there Sawyer. to Sawyer. That is going to be he's an gonna, ice. They're going to call an ice on that one. So the one. Sailors need to turn up the volume here. They're playing a little lackadaisical. They're not. They're, we're not a little crisp out there. Heck, Stevenson's making some uh, some some errant little plays right here. That's not like him. He's going to step up. He's going to come in and, and, and make a difference. It's a good line that's out there. Kate Cavanaugh is ready to go. Fantastic game. Puck controlled by Summit off the faceoff. Good job by Elliott to get it. Oh! There. Elliott's oh! hit hard, gets the puck to Vietnam. Sawyer walking in. Shot yeah! through traffic. Sawyer following his rebound. Serve and volley. Sawyer in the corner. Comes away with the puck. Looking for someone out front. Gets it to Ripley behind the net. Ripley's going to slow it down. 37 seconds left in the power play. Back up to Stevenson. Stevenson to Fritzen. Fritzen back to Stevenson. Heck through oh! traffic. Nice! Oh, my! Oh! How did that not go in? Ripley really? got the tip. He snuck that in. Heck, Stevenson snuck that in with, with Landon Ripley in front of the net. There was a great opportunity. 26 seconds to go in the power play with 6.42 to go in overtime. 1-1 one, one game with the Sailors and the Summit Tigers. Wow. Sailors are going to get legs out here. Looks like Ripley's going to the sin bin. Matching penalties oh. also in the box there. I think that's number 17, Cole Stuckey defenseman for the Summit County Tigers. Still a five on four here. Those are matching penalties. We'll see them sometime after t two minutes here. Puck back in the corner. Back to the point. Oh, Sailors can't control it. Stevenson we're down to 16 seconds on the power play. Stevenson to Fritzen. Fritzen, long cross ice pass ahead to Xander Harvey. Harvey battling. There's a cross ice pass it's off the sideboards. Yep, okay. It's going to be a stick. They're waving off icing. And that's going to do it for the power play. So Stevenson, team's skating at full strength now. Sailors can't get it out. Kodiak Crutchmar, cross ice pass up to Fritzen. Fritzen with some open ice. Fritzen chips it up off the sideboards. Crutchmar battling for it. Fritzen waiting for Crutchmar to get on side. Walks the puck in, slides it along the sideboards. We'll get a change there. Long head man pass. Grant Sis is going to pick it up. Tries to corral the puck and does. He does. Good play by Grant. Puck off the sideboards, but not out. Kept in at the blue line by Summit. Into the corner it goes. Crutchmar with a puck, winding it up. He's got a little bit of ice. Kodiak showing those wheels. Bad knees and all. Coming coast to coast. Kodiak oh. circles the net, looking for someone out front. We needed somebody in the middle, and they weren't there. 
Here come the Tigers back the other way across the red line. Nice little contact there at the blue line. Dislodges the man from the puck. Now Fritz uh, Zanamanon check with it. Max hammers it off the boards. Can't get it out. Puck kept in here by Summit. Now it's into the neutral zone. Long shot. Okay. Cade Cavanaugh with a big stop. Byer with the puck now. Byer circles the net. Byer puts on the brake, heads back behind his own cage. Leaves that puck for Grant Sis. Sis stops. Sends it off the backboards over to his D partner. Zanamanacek trying to corral the puck. Can't. Now it's controlled here by Summit. Tigers with the puck far side. 4.35 left in this overtime period. Oh, good Pat. shot. Good save by Keith Cavanaugh in goal. We got a little nerves going on. These guys, they want it bad. They know what's at stake. And we got to settle these nerves on these players. Once again, net off the mooring. 4.28 left in this overtime period. 1-1 the score. Sudden death. Gavin Whitlinger, the freshman, taking this face off. Whitlinger works that puck back to Fritzen. Fritzen behind the net. Gavin picks it up. Whitlinger backhands the puck up into the neutral zone. The freshman gets the puck up. No, no. They're going to call the ice. Oh, it was a good play, and the players were in position to get it out of the defensive zone, but they're going to call icing. We just needed a little tap on the stick to keep it live and in play. 416 left in this overtime period. Face off here to the glove side of the Sailors net. Off the face off. P puck pushed forward. Sailors get it into the neutral zone. Whitlinger, the freshman, battling for it. Getting some help from Patty Bomer, the senior. Fritzen looking cross ice. Chips it up off the sideboards to Shoreland. Shoreland with wheels. Brings it in tight. There's an oh. unable shot. That one nearly finds a, a hole. Puck. Kept in there at the blue line by Stevenson. Stevenson backhands it. Pitch forks the puck in deep. Sailors, Shoreland knocked off the play momentarily. Still oh, battling he's keeping for it. Alive. Good job there by Austin. Austin battling puck back. And a nice job by Heck. Stretch Armstrong gets that stick in there. But here come the Tigers. Summit County working it out of their own end. Long cross ice pass. Stevenson's going to pick that one up. He's going to take it back behind his own net. We're down to 325 left in this first overtime. Ty Norton tries to back, backhand the puck up, but not out. Whitlinger now playing tough. Works the puck in deep. Ty Norton. Whitlinger's going to come off the ice. Bessie oh, now on the ice. Let's keep it in there, Lance. Good job. Sound out. Quick head man pass. Oh, There's a good shot. block. Great job on Grant Sis on the defense to keep it out of a shot on goal. And now here comes Ripley. Ripley almost off. Ripley dangling into the corner. He goes. Buck centered. There's a centering oh. pass. Nice idea there by Norton. Back to the point. Now That's in deep. There's an odd angle shot. That one's going to go wide. Can Sis keep it in? Yes, he can. Grant puts it down deep into the corner. Centering pass. Back to Zanamanacek. Max is going to take it deep. Back there to Sis. Go, Sis. Take the shot. Oh. Traffic. Oh, oh, my. That one goes wide. Fantastic <laughs> shot on goal by Grant Sis. And the Sailors are going to take that puck up. Ripley is going to... Wind it up, ragging the puck. Ripley now bringing it up. He's got a lane. Takes it down this right side. Oh, There's a shot. shot. There's a gut check right in to the summit goalie. So, so good opportunities to push that puck up into the offensive zone. The Sailors have the momentum. We've kept it on that side. We just need to find the back of the goal. Let's end this. 2.09 to go in the overtime of the fourth period. This so is a sudden death. Owen, uh, excuse me. Craig Smyer. Matthew Tater uh, in goal has made a couple of big stops here. Back to the oh, oh, There's a shot Stevenson. through traffic. Stevenson, again, gets his own rebound. Puts it in deep. Looking for Crutchmar. Crutchmar can't control. Here comes Summit back the other way. Crutchmar on the back check. Wax at the stick. Coming in deep. Crutchmar again. There's a Great shot. Great save by Keith Cavanaugh. Good check shot. That would have been a strike had that been a pitch in baseball. The Sailors are on fire. Keith Cavanaugh. He's zoned in. We're ready to go. 144. 144. 
left in this overtime period. 1-1 the score. Face off here to the stick side of the Sailors net. Sawyer Vietnam scored the game tying goal with 44 seconds left. Takes that face off. Pushes the puck deep. Sawyer working it up to Elliott. Elliott, that, that's oh. both sides. Oh yeah. Sebo gets control back of the puck. Let's go. We're going to take it in the neutral zone. Face off. <laughs> We got Sawyer Vitanen. He's on fire tonight. You got Connor Elliott on the left wing. And we got uh, Finn Beyer on the right. Heck Stevenson, Angus Fritzen on defense. So the puck controlled by Steamboat Fritzen. Pirouettes puts it off the sideboards, but not out. Puck goes back behind the Sailors' cage. Heck Stevenson now bangs it off the backboards, looking for his left wing there. Beyer can't control. Now Heck. Controls the puck, plays the body nicely. Up to Elliott. Elliott oh, lost great on back. Pass. Fire great now. pass. With, with some open ice, looking yeah. again for Sawyer. Can't find him. Now Summit with the puck. Works it back behind their own net. Elliott on the forecheck. Good job by Connor. Connor gets the puck. He's going to leave this one for Fritzen. Fritzen walks in. Takes it in deep. Centering pass. Oh. Looking for someone out front. That was Sawyer. Tries to get a backhand on it. Big hit there. Yeah, Summit. we see some players going down. Oh, off the ref in the corner. And that one's going to be iced. Nice. We're going to get a face-off down in the Summit County end. The Sailors are going to get some fresh legs on the ice. Back and forth hockey, Kathy. 39.5 seconds to go in the fourth period of overtime. Folks, we're going to keep playing until there's a winner decided to go to the Frozen Four down at the South Suburban Ice Arena on Saturday. Let's make sure it's our Steamboat Sailors. Landon Ripley going to take the face off face right off, here. Face off controlled by Steamboat. Stevenson gets it from the point, walks it in, circles behind in Gretzky's office, back to Fritzen at the point. Fritzen back to Stevenson behind the net. No, nope. centering pass, oh. rebound, oh. opportunity oh. shot, save, Great. sets off the mooring. Great job, Ty Norton. Ty playing the body. He was right in front of the net. Great opportunity. Great play right there. So 21.5 seconds left. The Sailors certainly have had some opportunities here. 1-1 one, one the score. We're going to get a second overtime period if the Sailors can't find the back of the net here. Let's end it right here, Sailors. We don't want to waste any more gas on that Zamboni for a period five. Ripley. Oh, oh, face off. oh can't walk it in. He's gassed. He got Puck it. around the backboards. Out to Zanamanacek. He puts the puck in deep. Norton in there. Ripley battling for it. He's knocked off the play. Puck bouncing around. And we Bump. are in to the fifth period. Second overtime. Wow. For this. We're going to see if they're going to zam the I ice I don't think they're going to zam the ice. I don't ice. think they are either. So I think they'll do, what they'll do is, I believe we'll get two, at least two periods of overtime. Maybe different for the playoffs. Then we'll, we could see a shootout. Yeah, I think we're going to see, I think we're going to see one more playoff period here. Probably four on four, maybe three on three. We got another eight minutes. The fifth period, second overtime, one to one for the quarterfinals of the 4A state hockey playoffs. This is, we couldn't ask for anything so, better. Nobody's left the rink. Standing room only along the glass. One of our great sponsors, Harris from Harris Green from Mountain Mattress and Furniture, just said, if the Sailors win, everything in the store is 15% off, and I need a new mattress. We, I, we do, too. <laughs> and we can't thank our sponsors enough for allowing us to promote our Steamboat Sailors hockey. So, Harris. Okay, looks like we're still five on five. Also, a big shout out to Mountain View Car Wash Self Serve. They're providing the video here tonight. Travis Gainsley and the gang. We can't do it with all of our sponsors, of course. They've got three convenient locations. One behind Freshies, the self serve there. Self serve car wash by Golden Leaf. And then the self serve car wash out in Hayden. Thanks to Travis Gainsley and the gang. Face off here at center ice. Team skating five on five. Off the face off. Controlled here by the Sailors. Stevenson to Fritzen. 
Oh, puck oh, let's batted get it deep, here, handled Steelers. by Cade Kavanaugh. Behind the net, centering pass. Oh, cool. oh. They, they get it. They got it. Oh, my. I, I, I missed that. 12 seconds in. Fifth overtime. So the second overtime period, the Summit County Tigers applied the pressure. A quick pass from behind the net, and that does it. And the Summit County Tigers are headed down to the Frozen Four to take on the Liberty Lancers. Uh, a great play by our senior sailors for the Sailors hockey team. Uh, great play by Kate Cavanaugh and Goal. And what these guys have done, uh, we thought we'd go further. But great play by the Summit Tigers. Such a tough loss for your Steamboat Sailors. But the team is surrounding the senior goaltender, who has been nothing but a stalwart in the net all season long. He's had a great se senior career and a great campaign yeah. for his entire high school hockey career. A salute to Cade Cavanaugh and all the seniors. A tough loss for the Steamboat Sailors. Hold your heads up high. Hockey's an unfair game sometimes. Sailors controlled for the last two and a half periods, but could not, could not get the puck in the net here in the overtime. Some cap. great sportsmanship between these two teams. Again, a lot of, uh, of hockey careers are over. We're going into men's beer league for this, <laughs> and uh, they're taking their time. Their gloves are off. There's some hugs going on. We wish nothing but the best for our Summit Tigers in the final Frozen Four of these state playoffs, but uh, our hearts go out to our Sailors hockey for, for a great season and, and what they've accomplished and uh, great hockey tonight, great sportsmanship. I'll tell you what, uh, a big shout out to all the hockey moms and dads. Especially yeah. of the seniors as um, a big portion of their and your life yeah, we have, has come to yeah. a conclusion here. Yeah. As a mom, this has been an incredible journey through the hockey community all the way from my up to uh, senior hockey. And uh, it has been a blessing and a privilege to be a part of this great organization. And uh, we wish nothing but the best for our sailors, for those seniors and graduating and going on to great things. And uh, hey, Summit yeah. Tigers. Good luck to the Summit some County butt. Tigers. Go yeah. beat Liberty. We want you to beat Liberty. Sailors have beaten them. You can too. Let's go represent the Mountain community. And, and Glenwood moved on with a 6 yeah. nothing win against Battle Mountain. They'll be facing Durango, Frozen Four. Here's to uh, our Steamboat Sailors, all the seniors, juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. Certainly the future is bright for Steamboat yeah. Hockey. A tough one here. Hopefully the underclassmen can learn from it. A big shout out to all of our sponsors, Yampa Valley Bank, Alpine Lumber, Mountain Mattress and Furniture, Dotson Payment Solutions, Steamboat Ace Hardware, Steamboat Motors, the Paoli Group with the Group Realty, Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services, I Furnish, Mountain I Works, Steamboat Roofing, Switchback Sports, and Doc's Auto Clinic. Hey, we got Kier Nightcamp back on the ice, congratulating his teammates. It's good to see him here. Jacob French, we look forward to you coming back as a senior next year. Hey, we thank all of our sponsors. We thank all of our supporters. Come back next year for Steamboat Sailors Hockey. Absolutely. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, a great job today. Uh, I kind of threw you to the wolves here last minute. But I knew you were up for the task. Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, great job, Kath. Uh, Kathy Elliott, of course, on loan from the Christie Sports Steamboat family of stores. Thank you, thank you for joining me here in the booth and running the camera. We're going to uh, try to send this one back to regularly scheduled program. Thanks again to all the moms, the dads, the grandparents for watching across the globe, wherever you may be. It's always a great day for hockey. Hey, sailor hockey. So we're going to send this one back. You're tuned to KTYV Sports on FM at 105.7 and 97.7 on the FM dial and on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Fox Sports.